Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna quickly walk you through the steps on how you set up and use autopilot or auto steer in your Tesla vehicle. And this is an example of a Tesla vehicle that does not have FSD. It doesn't have the full self-driving package, but it does have autopilot come standard with all Tesla vehicles. And to turn on this capability, we wanna open up the menu in our Tesla screen. And we do this by clicking on the icon of our car. In the bottom left-hand corner, when we have our menu up, we wanna click on where it says autopilot. And you wanna make sure that you have auto steer toggled to the on position. And then when you turn on auto steer, you have some different options on the speed that it will be going. So I like using the current speed, just whatever speed that I'm currently going. When I turn on autopilot, that is the speed that it will be going. Whereas you also have the option to set it by speed limit where it's a fixed amount either above or below the current speed limit. Or you can also do a percentage offset to the current speed limit. But again, personally, I prefer just using the current speed and then manually adjusting the speed myself after that. So now that we have auto steer turned on in the menu, we can now use autopilot when we're driving around. And I'm going to show you how to do this and the different options that you're going to have while using auto steer. All right, guys, now when we're out on the road to set autopilot, you do two clicks down on the right stock. And if you have it set up to where it'll be the current speed, then of course it'll set it to the current speed that you're going. If you have it set to be either a certain amount above or below the speed limit, then it'll take the speed limit sign right here and it will adjust to that accordingly. But if you want to turn it off, it's one click up, or you can also tap on the brake. Now with autopilot, it's going to lock you in to one lane. So if you change lanes, it'll turn off autopilot and it'll go into cruise control. And at that point, you're in control of the steering wheel. It's no longer an auto steer. Now, if you want to increase your speed while in autopilot, you push the scroll wheel in the up direction. If you want to reduce speed, you push the scroll wheel into the down direction. And also, if we're getting close to a vehicle that's in front of us, autopilot will automatically start slowing you down. Now, if you wanna increase the follow distance, you push the right scroll wheel over to the left, and this will increase you, the max is seven. If you wanna decrease this number, you push the scroll wheel over to the right, and we can go all the way down to two is the lowest number. I usually have it somewhere in the three, four, five range, somewhere in between two to seven, and that seems like a pretty comfortable follow distance. It's also important to note when the car is on auto steer that it won't stop at stoplights or stop signs for you unless you're going behind a car in front of you that is stopping at a stoplight or a stop sign. In that case, you will of course just come and slow to a stop behind that car. But if you're first in line, you have to be in control and be aware that you need to stop at those areas. So to show you passing a vehicle, if I turn out of my lane, the blue lines are no longer on the screen, which means that I'm no longer in auto steer. And at this point, it's just in regular cruise control. I need to be in control of the steering wheel. And then to turn auto steer back on, we do two pushes down on the right stock and the blue lines show back up and now the car is back in control. So coming up to this stoplight, the car stopped because of course the cars in front of us were stopped. And when this light turns to green, when these cars start to move, then your car in auto steer or autopilot will of course accelerate and continue on with traffic. You need to pay attention at all times, even when your car is in auto steer or autopilot. And if you're not paying attention or you don't have your hands on the steering wheel, after a while, the car will warn you that you need to put a little force on the steering wheel just so that it knows that you're paying attention. So after a while, if you don't apply force to the steering wheel, the screen will start to blink. All you have to do is apply a slight force to the steering wheel and then it'll turn off. I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.